This is Michael Fisher for SavingAndInvesting.com and I want to introduce briefly the concept of yield. Now the, con the yield um, of an investment <coughs> is, also, is the return um, on the income return on that investment and we can use the concept of yield in various situations um, as applied to securities and even other things. <coughs> so for example the rental yield of a property is the amount of income that we receive on that property expresses a percentage typically of its current market price um, which would be, for example, if, we, if the property was worth $100,000 and we were receiving $10,000 of rental income every year, then the rental yield would be $10,000 or the current rental yield would be $10,000. In the case of stocks, we talk about dividend yield. Dividends being the income that we receive as a shareholder, as a stockholder, during the time that we own the stock. And so, for example, if a, if a stock um, which, which, whose current market price is $100 is paying a dividend of $2, then the dividend yield of that stock would be 2%, i.e. we would be receiving a return of 2% on that stock in the form of a dividend. The other part of the return that we would uh, potentially hope for as an investor in that stock would be the capital gain or the appreciation of that stock, but that is completely different. And as we know, companies, when they have earnings or income, the two terms being equivalent, um, can do one of two things. One is they can retain the earnings within the company for future investment and keep, them on the, keep those earnings on the balance sheet as retained earnings, or they can pay them out as dividends, often in the form of cash to shareholders that own that, the, the, the stock. And if the company does pay out the, that, those earnings as a, as a dividend, then for example, and as in our example, a $2 uh, dividend on a $100 stock translates to a dividend yield of 2%. Now in the case of dividend yield, dividend yield can also be measured on, on a cost basis. So for example, if we bought that stock at $50, then the cost yield would be $2 divided by $50 expressed as a percentage would be 4%. Typically we talk about dividend yield or current yield, which is the, the current dividend divided by the current price of the stock. Um, and that gives a div expressed as a percentage, which in this example was $2 divided by the $100 stock price, which gives a 2% dividend yield. And in the case of, uh, or we can express this like on a cost basis, which in this example was $50, the cost, and which gives a, a div cost yield of 4%. The concept of yield is also very important for bonds, because bonds are, especially when they're at lower risk, or even risk-free, a large percentage of the return is, comes in the form of income or interest paid on the bonds. And so there are numerous terms that apply to bonds to measure their yields, i.e. the coupon yield, for example, which is the yield, the coupon divided by the face value of the bond expressed as a percentage, or the current yield, which is the current uh, coupon, or the annual coupon expressed as a percentage of the current price of that bond. So the concept of yield relates to the income return on an investment, expresses a percentage, and gives us an indication, for example, 5% return, 6% return, 7% return, gives an indication of the return that we're receiving in the form of income while we hold that investment. Um, and it can be applied to various situations. Here we gave three examples. Often we hear of dividend yields, of course. We also hear of bond yields very often, or current yields. And uh, that is the concept of yield.
Bond the Bond the Bond the Bond the